Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue's. Have you ever wondered what games you should sell or you should use? Find out here at Purdue's. Find out on our top 10 list what games you cannot miss. Don't forget to subscribe to Purdue's. Here's a tactics add-on or expansion for this War of Mine. This is by far the more, most complicated of the bunch. Do not play this unless you're an advanced player. You're going to see they have this big map. We're going to have some soldiers coming out. Let me kind of show you how this works and see if it's something you want to add on. But please don't try this your first 10, 15 plays. The first thing you'll notice is that you have a double-sided tactics board that you can utilize here. We'll start on this side. And you'll have nine tactics tokens that you can set to the side. So this is going to be used and you're scavenging right after a combat phase. This will kind of replace that combat and give you a little something extra to do here. If you look down here, you'll see an A and a B side. If you're using the A side, that means you have a medium or large location, and the B will be the smaller of the two locations. So the first thing you'll do is you'll put these tactics out. So everywhere that has one, you're going to put one out, and everywhere that has two, like right here, you're going to put two tactics chips on them. Now the event cards that you have through normal resident cards will tell you what the prowess and the weapons and etc. that the enemies have. These tokens will represent the enemies unseen at this time. You're gonna roll each character's gonna roll the black die and then put their character wherever the dice tells them to be. I'm just gonna use a farmer as a placement instead of my regular uh, miniature that I'll be utilizing. You'll have these two action cards that you can utilize to take care of what you want to do. And carefully move, sprint, or wait or assault or sneak up on somebody, you'll choose your action that you want to do will be the first step. If you're on a blue space on the board, like one of these, you will draw a ribbon quarters and then do what it says. In this case, we almost stumbled upon them perform a hide test. Let's take a look at some of these. Nothing happens, nothing happens, nothing happens. I heard something. Someone is close, mark an enemy on adjacent space. Psst. Perform a noise test and perform a hide test. Those are what the possible things that you can do in a room and quarter spot. If you're on a green space, then you will take the hiding space deck and do what it says. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Nothing happens where the alarm card is active. Nothing happens. You might have to roll the dice. Someone passed. Perform a high test. Someone passed. Perform a high test. So if you're in a green space, you can take care of the hiding space location. Now, if you're on one of the red spaces, you would use the same deck as a hiding space, but you'll at the bottom on the open spaces. I heard something. Roll the black die. You can mark an enemy there. Someone's close, mark an enemy on the adjacent space, mark an enemy on the adjacent space, nothing happens, Psst. and we're noise staff, we almost stumbled upon them to form a hide test. So these cards will have dual duty to shuffle them up. Now if you look at the hiding spots, they will have a number of dots on them, in this case two, over here one, you have two over here, one there. That will be the number of characters, the maximum number of characters in the group that can stand. Now when you're moving, it's kind of obvious you're going to use the lines and move across, and depending on which of the action cards that you utilize will tell you how many spaces that you can move, but you always want to move through the line. Now if you look here, you'll see this line has a red exclamation point. You'll see some with block symbols with different icons. You'll refer to your special cards, and this will tell you clutter, perform a noise task, or cut off. When fleeing from combat, you cannot use this passage. This one is darkness, all characters and enemies promise to zero. A tight spot. Farms have no supremacy here during combat. All attacks are performed simultaneously. There's a little climb action you can do there. But these are just reference cards that tell you how to get through here. So when you want to hide, you'll do a hide test, which is the modifier that the card told you, plus the blue colored numbers, in this case a two. Then you would roll your ten-sided die. The results lower equal to the hide stat, and enemy not spot you. You marking two spaces away. If the result is higher, he has spotted you and then combat with again. Noise works exactly the same way, except you'll be utilizing the red number instead of the blue number. And each one of these spots has an exit spot that you can go to and get out of, and you would just try to get there to get out of the tactic spot. That way you can utilize the combat and be finished. If you happen to defeat all of the enemies, you continue to scavenge and kind of move on with your turn. So this is the tactics that you can add to the game. It's not overly complicated for gamers, but this game was intended really for video game players. So... This will add some complexity to it where in the main game, you're just rolling the dice and do what you want. This gives you some tactics. You can kind of move around and backstab them and jump on them. and It's not just a strict die roll. So this adds quite a bit to the game. I like this. When you're ready to add this in, this something's really fantastic to add something to the game rather than just being a random die roll. You're not going to have a little bit of movement. And what you're going to do is try to hide. This game is predominantly still going to be with this expansion. A lot of die rolls, 
a lot of this is going to be die rolls, but it's going to be multiple die rolls versus maybe one or two in the basic combat rolls. So I would say try to get this one to the table as quickly as possible. The mention me, try to add this in. Great addition. Thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate you tuning in. If you liked it, please like it and hit that little subscribe button. That really helps out the channel. Let's us know that you're getting the videos that you want. If you agreed or disagreed with what I said, feel free to comment below. I'd love to hear what you have to say, and I promise that I will comment back. Thanks for watching, and everybody else, keep playing games.